According to John Wright, Bowman's is the only shop in the same location on First Street as the day he moved to Mount Vernon 60 years ago. But that's not the only thing that has remained the same. The nice thing about Mount Vernon is it's still a small town. There's a real pride by the people that uh, live here in this town. A group of local men regularly meet in the basement of Bowman to drink coffee, shoot the breeze, hear stories, and discuss local events. John admits he doesn't get to share coffee at Bowman's too often, but says it's one of the few places, aside from our local restaurants, that people have to gather in Mount Vernon. We've been talking about the new wellness center, and to me it's a you know, great new opportunity for you to gather. It's going to be a natural place for senior citizens to meet and to exercise together and to socialize. Uh, there'll be a lot of activities, I think, uh, that seniors will be able to participate in, where they don't necessarily have a place right now where they can go and, and do these kinds of things. The exercise, the wellness, but in addition to the socialization, so I think it's, it's going to be really a, a fine thing. I can imagine seniors going down there, for instance, and playing cards, or maybe having a little snack, or uh, sitting around and having some coffee, and, and getting some exercise, too. John is on the fundraising committee for the Mount Vernon Wellness Center. He says now is a great time to make a donation of any size. We have an opportunity to raise some money and to match uh, Dave Van Meter's uh, matching grant, and which will allow us to have some more amenities in the community center that will just be wonderful for everybody. To get involved and donate to the Mount Vernon Community Wellness Center, please stop by City Hall and fill out a pledge card. Donations of any amount are appreciated. And remember, local donations made by July 4th will be matched by Dave Van Meter's generous pledge.